Hello, welcome to GCSE Physics. We finished dealing with our first major topic in physics. We are now moving on to thermal physics. Under thermal physics, our first broad topic we're going to take is simple kinetic molecular model of matter. Now, this topic looks very complex, but in the course of the weeks ahead, we're going to break it down to very simple subtopics. Today we're going to take states of matter. States of matter. There are three main states of matter. We have the solid, the liquid, and then the gases. What this means is that everything around us exists in one of these things. Anything you see around us could either be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Okay. Matter is anything that has mass and volume. When we say volume, that means it occupies space. So anything you see around us exists in one of these three states. The kinetic particle theory just seeks to explain the properties of the different states of matter. That is what the kinetic particle theory wants to do. It wants to explain the properties of the different states of matter. Okay, According to this theory, Matter is made up of tiny particles, which are in constant motion. So when you take a table, the table is made up of smaller particles that are in constant motion. The particles are constantly moving. Okay, That is where the kinetic word comes in. The particles are in constant motion. Now the closer the particles are to each other, the stronger the force of attraction between the particles. The closer the particles are to each other, the stronger the force of attraction between the particles. So in solids, the particles are very close to each other. That means there's a, there are stronger forces of attraction between these particles. When you go to liquids, the particles are somehow closer, close. So the force will be strong, but not as strong as in solids. For gases... The force of attraction virtually does not exist because the particles are very far apart. Now, as you move from solid to gases, the kinetic energy of the particles increases. The same applies to the distance of the particles, the distance between the particles. Okay. 